Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please make sure to subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help know that you like to see more content sense like this without further ado you guys let's jump into the video hi everybody how are you guys doing good morning good morning tgif today thank today thank god it's for right day and wherever you are right now whatever time zone you're listening and watching to me right now i just wish you good morning good afternoon and good night just in case i don't get to see you and yes yes it's been a while since the last time i actually uploaded um anatomy and physiology lecture sundan natin yung nakaraan nating discussion about sa nervous system and i believe this is part 6 na nga ng paghimay natin ng iyong nervous system and i actually wanted to do it by parts because i want to have a thorough deep dive per section ng iyong nervous system. Masyado kasing malaki yung nervous system. So, gusto ko may mastery. O, di ba? Ang saya. Ngayon, kung di mo pa napapanood yung other, yung first mga mga lectures ko under anatomy and physiology ng nervous system and some other lectures I have under sa category ng anatomy and physiology, marami-rami na po yun. Basahin mo. Magtatayo na tayo na magagawa na ako ng libro day. So, panoorin mo yun because I'll be putting the actual playlist link on the description box. Check the one out together with the other playlist I have on my channel under Nursing Education. Or whenever the icon button pops out, click the one out because I'll, I'll be putting it there together with the other playlist I have on my channel. Now, before I further proceed, I would just like to grab this opportunity to announce to everybody that we are moving towards 20,000 subscribers really, really fast. And thank you so much, you guys, for holding on to me. Marami Maraming salamat po for all your love and support and your dedication to this channel. And yeah, I'm just so grateful and I want to start your day with this lecture um, of your nervous system. And like you see on the dis uh, on the display, this is about peripheral nervous system. Exciting, hindi ba? Wag na tayo magpatumpik tumpik pa because this is going to be short but really, really juicy. Eto na po. So let me share to you the objectives for today's discussion. Peripheral nervous system, structure of a nervous system, and cranial nerves. Yan yung tatlong topics na we're gonna be talking about for today. Nakabasa nga pala ako ng comment na bakit nga daw ako nagsasalita ng Tagalog uh, while I'm mixing Filipino language and English language on my videos. Well, because the main market, the main audience that I have, market talaga, the main audience that I have, uh, audience, audience that I have on this show is mostly Filipino students. So sorry na. I'm really sorry if that put you, um, that you feel like you're not included in some way or I don't know, irritates you. But I'm gonna try my best to speak in English uh, from now on and moving forward. O, diba? Okay, can I happy? You're happy? Okay. Whoever you are, whoever you are, I don't know, but I just read, just so you know that I'm actually reading all of your comments, you guys. So, mm -mm. all right. So, let's start the discussion before you jump into your weekend vacation. I want you to take this time to study about your peripheral nervous system, okay? Take mo na to, mga ano lang siguro to, approximately 15 minutes long discussion. And I'm pretty sure, and I assure you 100% that at the end of this lecture, you're going to be uh, uh, familiarized and you will master peripheral nervous system to the T. Okay, bayon? Happy? Happy. Let's go. First up, we're going to discuss your peripheral nervous system. Ang saya, hindi ba? So, let's discuss this one. The peripheral nervous system consists of nerves and scattered groups of neural cell bodies, o yung tinatawag natin ganglia found outside the CNS. CNS, which is your central nervous system. Now, your peripheral nervous system or your PNS is that part of your nervous system that lies outside your brain and spinal cord. Uh, these are the nerve fibers that extends outside your central nervous system, which consists of your brain and your spinal cord. When you talk about your CNS, you're only talking about two um, anatomical body parts, which is your brain and your spinal cord. Those nerve fibers that connect your brain 
to the outside of the nervous system, nakakonekta sa, ngu- sa nguso mo, sa, sa face, sa muscles, those are what you call your peripheral nervous system. All right, it plays a key role in both sending information from different areas of your body back to your brain, as well as carrying out commands from your brain to various parts of your body. That's the reason why you'll be able to lift your finger or uh, raise your hands, to close your hands, open your hands like that because of your peripheral nervous system in conjunction with your central nervous system. Are we good? Very good. <laughs> Let's proceed. We're going to talk about your structure or the structure of a nerve. Now, a nerve is a bundle of neuron fibers found outside the CNS. Ito po siya. When you say the structures of your nervous or the structures of the nerves, here are some of the parts of a nerve. So we have endoneurium. Now, each fiber is surrounded by a delicate connective tissue sheet and Uh, which is called an endonerium. Now, hindi shit, sheet, S-H-E-A-T-H. Yung tinatawag nating um, fiber, surround, like the sheet that is surrounded your, that serves as an insulator for your um, nerve fibers, that is your endonerium. Malinaw? Malinaw. We also have your perimerium. Now, these are groups of fibers Uh, groups of fibers are bound by a coarser connective tissue wrapping the perineum. A perineum? Perineerium. <laughs> Bakit nag-ano? Napunta tayo sa GU? Okay, sorry. Perineerium to form fiber bundles or fascicles. We also have your epineerium. Mag-ingat tayo sa pronunciation. Baka saan tayo mapunta? Finally, all the fascicles are bound together by a tough fibrous sheet and epineerium to form the cord-like nerve as you see on the picture. Now, mixed nerves. Now, nerves carrying both sensory and motor fibers are called mixed nerves. Oh, i-discuss natin to. Ano yung sensory nerves na sinasabi natin? Sensory nerves that these are nerves that carry impulses toward the CNS only are called sensory or afferent nerves. Ano naman yung tinatawag nating motor nerves? Motor nerves, those that carry only motor fibers are motor or efferent nerves. Effect. Sensory, yan yung information papunta sa CNS. Bawa, example. May kandila. Ikaw, kung parang di ka na grade to, nilagay mo yung kamay mo doon sa kandila. O, so sasabi ng utak mo, napasok ka. So, yung mga sensory fibers mo on the tip of your fingers, that will send a signal to your brain that quick, that fast, that millisecond, that this thing... Dahil hindi siya na grade 2, parang siya chubobo, napaso siya, kailangan niyang i-remove yung finger niya, otherwise, he's gonna burn himself. You know what I mean? So, that's the your sensory. And the fact that your once the brain interprets that it this this is harmful to the body, it can cause me burn, uh, your, your CNS will send a command to your motor nerves to remove your hand, remove your finger out from that Candle. Light. <laughs> Ganun lang po. Okay? Malino tayo sa structures ng iyong nerves. Once again, these are the structures of your nerves. Now, last uh, slide na nga tayo ha. But before I proceed with the final discussion, let me just give you time for you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for doing that. O diba? That is so easy. You don't even have to think about it. Okay, let's proceed. Cranial nerves. So we have the 12 pairs of cranial nerves primarily serve the head and the neck. Okay? So ito na tayo. Mga cranial nerves. Crania mga uh, OOO. Naalala niyo yun? Uh, o, ano ba yung mga ano namin nung nagre-review ako ng board exam? Uy? Meron kaming OOO. Touch and feel. Yung yeah, mga ganun. Diyos ko. Ito po siya. Didiscuss natin siya ng mabili. Sabi ko sa'yo eh. O, di ba? Patapos na tayo in less than 10 minutes. Matatapos na tayo. Ito na. So, the cranial nerves, ladies and gentlemen. 
Bow. We have your. This is in uh, chronological order. Okay, we have your olfactory. Olfactory. Fibers arises from olfactory receptors on the nasal mucosa in synapse with the olfactory bulbs. Its function is purely sensory and it carries impulses for the sense of what? Smell. Olfactory. Ol olfactory. Smell. Malino naman na yun siguro. Para kayo hindi na grade 2. Char. Eto na tayo. We have your o o optic. Now, fibers arises from the retina of the eye and form the optic nerve. Its function is purely sensory and carries impulses for vision. Naalala mo yung mga klase ng nerves natin? We have mixed, we have sensory, and we have motor. I'm gonna discuss to you each uh, cranial nerves and what type of nerves they are. Okay? So, olfactory and optic, these are sensory fibers. Ano yung optic? Siya yung sense of vision. Olfactory, sense of smell. We have your oculomotor. Ah, diba social? Oculomotor fibers run from the midbrain to the eye. It supplies motor fibers to four of the six muscles. We have your superior, inferior, medial rectus, and inferior oblique that direct the eyeball to the eyelid and to the internal eye muscles controlling lens shape and pupil size. Oculomotor, the one that controls your pup uh, pupil size and lens shape. That is your oculomotor. All right? We have your trochanter. O, O, O. Two. Mm -hmm. tro tro trochanter? What did I say? Tro trochlear. Stand corrected. Sorry naman. Trochlear fibers run from the midbrain to the eye. It supplies motor fibers for one external eye muscle, which is called your superior oblique. Trochlear. We have your trigeminal. And alala mo yung trigeminal nerves, her face. Yes, fibers emerge from the pons and form three divisions that run to the face. It conducts sensory impulses from the skin of the face and mucosa of the nose and a mouth. Also contains motor fibers that activate the chewing muscles. This is your trigeminal nerve. Ilagay mo yung tatlong daliri mo, yung iyong index finger, middle finger, and then yung ring finger sa face mo. Like, uh, perpendicular to your face. Perpendicular ba? Or, itapat mo lang sa mukha mong ganyan. Or, oh, that is your trigeminal nerve. Yung hand mo dapat nasa dulo ng ears. That is your trigeminal nerves. Okay? We have your abducens. O, oh, diba? Nalala pa si abducens? Fibers leave the pons and run to the eye. It supplies motor fibers to the lateral rectus muscle, which rolls the eye laterally. And dami mga cranial nerves na connected sa eyes, di ba? O di ba? Ito to sila. So ang abducens, siya yung, ano, responsible for your eye rolling. Okay? Next, we have your facial cranial nerves. Fibers leave the pons and run to the face. It activates the muscles of facial expression and the lacrimal and salivary glands. Lacrimal, pagluha. Salivary glands, pag lalaway. O diba? Pag naglalaway ka for today's video, ito ang yung facial nerve. Now, which carries sensory impulses from the taste buds of the anterior tongue? O oh, diba? Gusto mo yung may emphasis tayo sa mga pagdi-discuss. Ito tayo sa vestibulo cochlear. Ah, oh, masyadong green ang mata. Vestibulo cochlear. Hindi cochlear, cochlear. Now, fibers run from the equilibrium and hearing receptors of the inner ear to the brain stem. Its function is purely sensory. Vestibular branch transmits impulses for the sense of balance and cochlear branch transmits impulses for the sense of hearing. Sense of balance, that is your uh, vestibular. We talk about your cochlear branch. It transmits impulses for the sense of hearing. Pinagsama vestibulo cochlear. Kaya may mga problema, may mga vertigo. Kadalasan may problema sila sa iyong vestibular cochlear nerve. Okay? May sense, may problema sa sense of balance. Sa ano naman to sa peingan na nakikita. Now we have your glossopharyngeal. Fibers emerge from the medulla and run to the throat. 
it supplies motor fibers to the pharynx or what we call the throat in layman's term that promotes swallowing and saliva production. It carries sensory impulses from the taste buds of the posterior tongue and from posterior receptors of the carotid artery. Once again, that's your glossopharyngeal. We have your vagus nerve, very famous. Vagus nerve's fibers emerge from the medulla and decrease into the thorax and abdominal cavity. Ang haba nito. The fibers carry sensory impulses from the motor impulses to the pharynx, larynx, and the abdominal and thoracic viscera. Most, fi most motor fibers are what? Parasympathetic fibers that promote digestive activity and help re uh, regulate heart activity. Very true. Remember, naalala mo yung carotid sinus massage? Vagus stimulation, eto po siya. Because it extends from your carotid artery. So, ang, ang vagus nerves more responsible for what? Parasympathetic effect. Parasympathetic activation of your parasympathetic nervous system. And you know that when you talk about your parasympathetic effect or nervous system, everything goes down except for GI and GU. Kaya active ba ang GI mo kapag under ka ng parasympathetic effect or nervous system? Yes. Ihi ka ba ng ihi? Yes, because active ang GI and GU. Everything goes down when you talk about parasympathetic. Sympathetic. On the other hand, everything goes up except for GI and GU. So, meron bang oliguria? Meron. Okay? Meron ba tayong tachycardia? Meron. Okay? Meron tayo niyan. So, yun lang naman yung difference. Next, we have, malapit na to, ang bilis, di ba? We have your accessory. Cranial nerves. A fiber arises from the medulla and superior spinal cord and travel to muscles of the neck and back. Mostly motor fiber that activate the sternocleidomastoid. Ano yung sternocleidomastoid? Oh. Yun yung ating muscle for what? For breathing. Accessory muscles for breathing. And trapezius muscle. Both are used as accessory muscles for breathing. We have your hypoglossal fibers run from the medulla to the tongue. Motor fibers control tongue movements. Sensory fibers carry impulses from the tongue. Oh, sorry ha, medyo advanced lang na late lang tayo ng, nag-extend lang tayo ng mga 2 minutes sa ating discussion kasi ang target natin is 15 minutes lang. Pero once again, these are your 12 cranial nerves. I think I have like an update or one of you guys commented na updated na daw. May nadagdag na cranial nerves. Kung may nadagdag, ilagay mo sa comment section sa baba kasi hindi ko mahanap yung research study eh na nagdagdag sila ng cranial nerves or may mga bagong discovery about the new cranial nerves that is being um, discovered. So, ilagay mo sa baba because I would really, really love to know. And if you can also put the reference there, I'll be more than happy to check the one out for you guys. Para na rin matuto ako at matuto tayong lahat. Hindi ba? Now, dyan na nga natatapos ang ating discussion. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. You let me know. If you have other nursing topics that you want us to do, comment it down below. Abangan mo nga yung upload natin next week because that's going to be amazing and a lot of knowledge and learning. You guys, take this weekend as your break, as your pahinga, when, and then once you recover, come back on the weekdays, come back on Monday, fresh and rejuvenated and ready to learn. And I'm going to be waiting for you guys on Monday. And I'm still going to be seeing you same time, same channel. And don't forget to follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave. Except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. Tulungan mo na nga ako. Ipamalita mo na sa Radyong Sira. Ang pinakabago, pinakafresh at pinakalibring nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. And I'll see you again next week. Have a good weekend. Bye!